Hey everybody, Dick Davis for Texas Discovery Gardens at Dallas Fair Park. You know, I'm hoping that by now most of you will have unloaded onto your phone that new app for smelling. If you have, you'll appreciate that I'm standing amongst some very aromatic yellow jasmine. Just take a whiff of this. Oh, that's great. You see this? That's my nose smiling. Right now, there are lots of good looking and nice smelling plants and flowers at Texas Discovery Gardens. This week, your virtual guide is gardens manager, Carrie Gray Harrison. Hi everyone. We've really missed seeing you in the gardens and our garden and greenhouse staff are working really hard to keep everything trimmed and weeded so that our grounds are ready when we can safely open again. In the meantime, here are a few plants that are blooming right now. This is Bear's Breeches, a canthus mollus, and this one grows in and near our master gardener's garden. These big blooms are about three feet high and they demand a lot of attention right now, even though this one likes the shade. This particular plant is from the Mediterranean region, so it really doesn't play a large role in our local food web, but it's really attractive. These bright blue insect attracting blooms belong to blue curls, Phycelia congesta. It's an annual and occasionally a biennial. Hoverflies seem to really, really love it, although what you are seeing right here are bees. It's finished blooming by the end of May and 1st of June, and it sets seeds for the next year. We are at its northern edge of its natural range here in Dallas, so if you want to find it growing in the wild, look around central Texas. These yellow spherical blooms belong to golden ball lead tree, Lucana retusa. It has a limited natural range consisting of the Edwards Plateau and West, so it is a Texas native, but not really native to our area. It is difficult to find commercially, but it makes a great garden tree. Its leaves let enough light in so that you can have blooming plants underneath, and it doesn't get very big, so it's great for a small yard. You might guess that these big red tubular flowers are attractive to hummingbirds, and you would be right. It's a great hummingbird plant. This is red buckeye, Esculus pabia. It's a shrub that grows to about 15 feet in height, and it's native to the east and south of us here in Dallas, as well as throughout the whole southeast United States. These bright yellow flowers are sundrops. They are in the evening primrose family, and like many plants in this family, the scientific name has changed. They used to be Calliolophus, but they are now Oenothera. This family is an important nectar source for some of the night flying insects that also feed on nectar, moths. This is Texas prairie parsley, and it's a blackland prairie native. It is a food source for black swallowtail caterpillars and a great nectar source for many different insects, as you can see here. We have a lot of these right now in our butterfly habitat. These are helibores also known as Lenten Rose. They are some of the very first early spring bloomers. Originally from Europe and Asia, they have been bred for these gorgeous muted colors. The flowers face downwards and are low to the ground, so you have to be a really good observer to find them in the garden. Thanks, Carrie, that was really nice. And what I'm really hoping is that you're already using one of your phone's other very important sensory apps. If you're not, then I'm sorry to report that you will not be able to taste this piece of chocolate pie from Norma's Cafe. Tune in next week. We'll be smellier, prettier, and tastier than ever. Uh-oh, one of our millions of viewers just called our hotline to report that they cannot find on their phone an app for smelling. Well, just look harder. I knows you can do it.